behind closed doors. And may I just add that one should never put this on a pool table, but being that I own it, I'll do whatever I want to. Mick, away we go. I'm okay. going to make this ball here, and then we can talk. Okay. Let's talk. Good shot. This is a beautiful house you have here, Ronnie. Uh, Thank you. How long have you lived here? I've been here now for about five years. Mm -hmm. um, the home is eight years old. Looks a bit older than that. I think the furnishings have something to do with it. The furnishings are quite a bit older. Uh, this particular piece right here, for example, is uh, from Windsor Castle. Really? This was made, uh, I think, 1495. So again, it's, uh, it shows you that the furnishings are all the house's new. I'm always being accused of living in the past and being a medieval person, and I guess this kind of brings it all together. Uh, the pool table is rather interesting as well. Uh, this was a Christmas present from my wife, from Wendy. Uh, we can see the lions and whatnot. This, this is a reproduction of a table that was uh, built in 18, I think it was 1865. I make shots there, unbelievable. I mean, I can do anything with this table, and that's how I got this place. I played pool all my life, and I was able to buy it. Well, you've caught me in the library, um, one of my favorite places in all the world because it contains words. And what's important to me are more of the things that, uh, that I live around, this chair. This is a Bible box here with a Bible on the top of it, a very old one. This is a place that I don't do any writing in. It's strictly a library. Most of my work is done in the dungeon. Well, here we are in the dining room, as you can see, the table at which I eat my most favorite meal in all the world, which is Indian food, curry from old Imperial Britain, I think that was. Uh, the table, as you can see, the sideboard, lovely carvings. I think the nicest thing about all of this kind of fur furniture, and one of the reasons I love it so much, is because there was so much thought and care taken in doing it. These were when workmen really cared about the things that they made. Uh, it makes me feel that Perhaps we can get back to that era someday. I think I care enough about the music. I know how much these people cared about what they made. Maybe when you put the two together, it all spells Dio. I don't know. <coughs> you know I don't play piano. I'm a singer. Let's go to the bar. It's my favorite place anyway. This looks like a well-used bar. I mean, obviously, you've had a lot of elbows resting on this at one time or another. Well, uh, you know, I should perhaps mention some of the other people in the band as well, and, you know, when we talk about the bar, that of course brings to mind, you know, Our friend. my mate, my mate Jimmy Bain. Yeah. Now Jimmy's a, Jimmy's a, a, not only a you know a great friend and a great musician, but he's he's a Scot as well. He's a good Scotsman, and he tested this bar for me before I bought it. He put the elbow here, leaned on it, and he said, "I pronounce this bar fit to drink at." <laughs> and so from that moment on, we've had a lot of parties here. As, as Ronnie said earlier, we're not big on big formal dinners or so on, but the bar is people most of the time. We never started with this. Why should we think that this should last forever? I was just as happy, and I'm sure Wendy was just as happy before struggling and being happy together. I think this is all very transitory anyway. It's, it comes and it goes. I mean, you, you have ups and downs. It's like life. Life goes through great waves of emotion and passion and uh, great lows of despair and whatnot. That's the way life is. Life it ebbs and flows like the sea does. We've had a lot of very hard times over the years. I, I remember the time when Ronnie and Rainbow parted company and we were living in Connecticut and uh, the manager didn't want to manage Ronnie anymore and he was didn't have a job and we didn't have any money or anything and we basically were thrown out to the cold and it was freezing cold and we just picked up our belongings, which weren't very many, and drove in a car that had no insurance, and drove 3,000 miles to California, because we figured this was where Ronnie could start again.
Ooh. Mm-hmm. 